Good morning. It's Martha Longy here on my way to work and uh, just wanted to make a quick little video to say hi to everybody. Happy Friday. Love my Fridays. Um, so I did a little uh, post last night called uh, Living As If and are, um, are we wired for success? Is everyone wired for success? So I just wanted to kind of touch on that real quick and um, give you uh, my thoughts on that. I've been reading a lot and uh, listening to a lot of motivational tapes, speakers, that kind of stuff, um, to just help me stay positive and up for my weight loss journey. Um, because as many of you know, you know, when you're struggling with your weight and you're trying to make things happen in the opposite direction that your body normally doesn't go in, at least mine doesn't, um, it's hard and you know, you're going to have ups and you're going to have downs and it's more important than ever to stay focused and positive when you're having the downs. So this week, I only lost a pound. I lost about three inches um, overall, you know, which is great. It's progress. But, you know, the previous couple of weeks I had higher numbers, so you're kind of hoping that you're going to see that same thing week after week, and of course you're not. Um, our bodies hit plateaus, you know, some days we retain water more than others, <laughs> the joy of being a woman. Um, so in order for me to stay up and stay positive and not revert to my, uh, you know, bad eating habits, I've been listening to a lot of these motivational state tapes and um, reading books. And what I get, the take home message has been for, out of most of them is to live your life as if you've accomplished the goal already. And when I first heard that, I thought it was kind of odd and weird and like you're pretending. It's really not that you're pretending. You're just occupying that positive space ahead of time, like you've put it on reserve almost. Um, and when you're focused on the positive and you're thinking like you're already there, it helps you get there. I can't explain why, really, um, but it does. I mean, I'm experiencing it. And like I said, this week wasn't as up as last week in terms of the poundage that um, I lost, but I lost inches. So my clothes are fitting looser. Um, I've gotten into a couple of tops that I couldn't really wear before. They were just too snug and now they're a little loose. So those are all way positive things. But if I only focused on the number on the scale, I would probably be not so thrilled. You can't do that. Don't focus on that number on the scale. That's our biggest, biggest deterrent because we want to see that scale come down so bad. Um, and some days it doesn't. So, live your lives as if. Pretend if you want to call it that, however you want to look at it, but try to take that message home and assimilate it however you need to, to implement it in your life. And it's going to help you guys. It's going to help. So stay focused. Keep doing your walks. Keep going to the gym if you're going to the gym already. Do your little weight workouts at home. And do your smoothies. Keep them up. They're delicious and they're so good for you. So keep doing them, all right, guys? I hope you're all going to have an awesome, awesome weekend. Shout out to my sisters in Miami and my girlfriends in the Bay Area that are supporting me and uh, watching my videos. Love you all, you guys, and uh, I want you to be as healthy and happy as I am and getting even better, better and better every day. So love you guys. Be cool, all right? You already are. Bye.